Hey everyone, Vinayak here. You must be able to understand what is special about this. This is a model of me. And I was so surprised how simple it was to make this. So I'm going to be showing you step by step in this video on how to make this for yourself. So let's get started. I have been into 3D printing for a month maybe, trying out a lot of techniques and learning along the way. I thought I would try to find a way to print my own 3D selfie. First, you need a scanner like this one, the Kinect from the Xbox 360. There are better scanners, but as I already had an Xbox 360, it was available on hand. The Kinect has 3D scanning capabilities as it can use the depth scanner to make 3D models. There is a problem though, you can't connect it directly to the PC as it has a proprietary USB connector. The USB port on the Kinect has this weird indent which doesn't allow it to be used in standard USB ports. I had to purchase a USB adapter which also provides power. So plug the Kinect's USB into the USB adapter, power it via the power adapter provided and it should be ready. Now that we have the hardware, we need to install the software. So we would download the Kinect SDK. So once you download the Kinect SDK, install and connect the hardware. One way to know if the Kinect is detected is you can go to the device manager and see these Kinect devices listed there. Scanect is what I first downloaded. Open up the software and it detects the Kinect which is shown on the top right over here. Hit start to start scanning. Scanect worked really well. It made a model quite fast and it was one of the first times actually I had scanned something in. But when I exported the model, being a paid application, it exported only 5000 polygons. Which of course you must understand that it's too low to even know what uh, has been scanned. So Scanect has a paid option at $129. And I wasn't ready to spend that kind of money. Scouting around for more apps, I downloaded Kscan. That actually caused a lot of problems for the other apps. Only Kscan worked for some reason. And the application was so manual, after using Skinect, it was just too tedious to use. So I had to find something else or I had to pay for Skinect. Then I found Reconstruct Me. So I downloaded the app. And I left the options on default except for the device selection which I had set to Microsoft Kinect first generation. Somehow it wasn't detecting the Kinect, but Kscan was. I found that the earlier Kinect drivers I had installed were missing after installing Kscan. So I uninstalled everything and restarted and installed the SDK again. Phew, it's working again. Now that I have the app working, I initiated a scan. So I press start and I turn around slowly right in front of it. And it scanned me quite well. I bent forward for the scan to get the top of my head too. Ugh, that doesn't look good. So I just saved it anyway. But I still wasn't happy as the light was casting shadows on one side. Then I change the surface setting to not capture color. And there's also a cool option to make a selfie 3D scan. I scan myself again, slowly rotated, and voila, a mesh was generated. I saved the model and then opened it up in Mesh Mixer. I generally smoothened out the mesh, cleaned out the excess polygons, and it's ready. Now to export to a 3D slicing software to slice the model and make it ready for printing. I use Cura for slicing and here's the model loaded in. On slicing it showed me that it would take 7 hours and 23 minutes to print. But that was at 100%. I scaled the model down to 75% and now it showed me that it would print in 4 hours 34 minutes. This is quite good. So this is how the model looks with the supports. 
the supports are quite thin and can be easily broken off. So now let's get it to a printer and start printing. Four hours and 35 minutes later, this is how the model looks. The model looks quite good, not that accurate because it's just an initial test, but it still came out pretty well and I was surprised. So if you want to know more about how I did this, any other questions uh, on the printer or on the scanning process, you can always write in to me at techattalkingstuff.net or you can also WhatsApp us at 96525-788833. So that's it from me. Thank you for watching and see you all next time. Make sure to like this video and also subscribe to the channel. Also make sure to click on the notification bell to be informed when new videos are added.